Hello and welcome to another video of DP Cinema Talk. Uh, in this video I'd like to talk about uh, a camera move that is a staple of modern cinematography. Uh, it's easy to do, uh, you don't need any elaborate equipment to execute this camera move and when applied to appropriate moments in the script can provide a magical mix that brings out not only the actor's performance but also simultaneously giving the audience that extra something. And if you've read the title of this video, which I'm guessing you have, you, you know it's called the push or push in move or close push. It goes by several names, but in essence it is the, the act of physically moving the camera closer to the subject in the frame. And in this video I'm going to go over some of the many ways uh, this camera move is used so uh, you'll get a good solid foundation as to when and where you can use this move in your own films. In, in modern film there is the tendency or perhaps the, the expectation to heighten the, the action to keep it always moving. Now there's nothing wrong with that at all with moving the camera and pushing towards your subjects to add uh, a visual dimension to your shots and if you want to use the push specifically as a stylistic option, uh, feel free to continue to do that. What I'd like to specifically focus on is when you can use this camera move at points that can, uh, in a sense, marry the, this camera move to the script. In other words, uh, the move complements the script and vice versa, so they work together to produce an effect that is greater than just having uh, that particular good moment in the script or a fancy dolly move by itself. So when they both happen and, and hit their marks together in, in a complementary way, harmoniously, and, and on top of that even though the music is not a focus of this talk, if the musical score coincides, then you have the equivalent cinematic event of an alignment of the planets. The results can be, well, quite epic amazing, heartfelt, beautiful, and magical. And it is the process of creating these moments where the script and the camera really work together uh, that can make uh, a film better, in my opinion. So how, how do you use a push? Well, a push can be used for a variety of reasons. The, the general reason for using a push is importance or drawing attention to the situation at hand. Uh, for example, if something happens on screen that impacts a certain character, uh, a push underlines this to the audience. A push can also be used to underline severity, uh, urgency, uh, the plot thickening or unfolding. And the move can emphasize greatly characters arriving at uh, a new idea or conclusion. It shows the audience that the character can be processing a situation or in the process of, of making a decision. All I want is a little yes or no. Look into his eyes. Those big, pretty eyes. And tell me. Yes or no? A push can be done with a dolly on rails perhaps even a steady cam. You can use a jib, although I'd recommend a decent sized jib to prevent the, the move from turning into, well, a jib move, where you know you will see the circular trajectory of the camera which may detract from the push effect, maybe. Your mileage may vary depending on the lens and the composition, etc. So you can, you can even perform a push with a slider. So the barriers to entry for this move is quite low and it can be used to great effect. Uh, finally, a few things to avoid with the push move. And this is firstly, the, the pushes should be relevant to the, to the story or the main characters, or both. So you could have a heartfelt moment with an extra who is going to be on screen for two minutes. If that is the only screen time for that character, perhaps another less epic shot can be used 
And the only reason I'm suggesting this is, and it may seem stra strange at first, but that is because of the second point I'm going to make, which is that uh, the more you use the push, especially in the same scene, the more you dilute its meaning. It's kind of like a, a key change in a song. If you perform these multiple times, its impact tends to get reduced. So that's it for the push. Um, just remember to try and stick closely to moments that concern the major characters and the story wherever possible and uh, push in selectively and not too often. And hopefully you can bring out some more cinematic magic in your next projects.